On this special episode of Supercars Talk, the 2022 grid is completed once again. Finally, once again, we can confirm the whole 2022 grid with Gary Jacobson and Chris Pither being signed to Premier Racing. Now, the internet, if you jump on the Facebook comments and that, the internet seems to have lost its mind over signing these two drivers. Why would you sign them over Fabian Coulthard or, you know, all of the better options that are out there? Both of these drivers have won the Super 2 Championship, so they can't be that bad. Um, Gary won it back in 2016. Um, he was racing for uh, Pro Drive for Tickford Racing performance whatever you want to call it this week um his teammate was jack lebrock at the time uh he did also beat uh todd hazelwood and jimmy goulding in that championship not that bad uh pitha won his in 2018 he did um have to run up against paul dumbrell kind of in Paul Dumbrell's run of, you know, might in the Super 2 Championship. Uh, not bad. Uh, funnily enough, though, in his year, he did uh, beat Gary Jacobson in that championship as well, which is... Uh, this, this is probably where the conundrum comes with these two, is that although they did win the Super 2 Championship, um, other guys around this time, you know, you got Waters, Hazelwood, Fullwood, um, they all kind of went straight into the main game after winning their championship and have, you know, kind of cemented their place. These guys have always kind of kicked around on the outskirts. Um, even, you know, like Gary's had his a solid full-time run now, um, but it's, he's moved every year and technically this is another team again. So he's never stuck with the same team two years. Um, the, the results just haven't been there to kind of... So, that's where the question kind of comes with these guys. Uh, they bring money. Um, could you still call Jacobson a pay driver, uh, considering it was probably the premier money that he was shopping around to other teams? Uh, Pitha, are we going to see Coke on the cars? Yeah, um, obviously their checkbooks were bigger than, you know, someone like Zane Goddard or... Did, did Zane see the writing on the wall for this team this year where it's probably going to be building year the results aren't there and as I've said that's where I really view this team that it's a building year the, the drivers are not going to be you put Scott McLaughlin in that car um, it's not going to magically put it on the front row of the grid um, apparently they're going to triple eight to get it rebuilt with all the latest gear in them um, you still need engineers and all the team and crew um, you if it comes down to it they're not going to win a race you know we, they, they've got to be seconds ahead because when they come into the pits the pit crew is not going to be right up to speed um if it's one of those you know neck and neck races they, they're going to get blown away in the pits really because it's going to be a fairly new crew you, you need time to build all just ask Erebus how long things like this take to build up over time so really to me um why would you go and pay someone like Fabian this year? You know, he's got experience and whatever, but if you haven't got the engineering team and that there, what feedback is he really going to, you know, give the team that someone like Gary or Chris Pitha can't? Um, and then if you, you get a lot of feedback from Fabian this year, well, it all goes out the window next year with Gen 3. Um, if you were looking to pay someone, I would have, you know, pulled someone a bit younger um, up. But then also there's a, a bit of a question, who would you pull up? Um, I'm not going to name any names, but kind of the guys who we expect to be running at the front in Super 2 this year, are they really, are they ready to make the jump up? The guys who are ready to make the jump up have already. So you, you've got all that. Um, is there anyone else on the sidelines that you would bring into a team like that that would they want to do the job like I'm, I'm not sure but 
did Zane Goddard really want to go and spend all his money there um, to run around the back? Or did he look at it a bit like, well, you know, Walkinshaw are looking for a co-driver for Bathurst. You know, maybe I'll put my money in there and um, go and win Bathurst and look really good. Like Lee Holdsworth, you know, Lee Holdsworth drive is a lot better than one of these premier seats for next year, even though it possibly might not be much better. Um, the big question now, you know, probably to look at is where does Fabian end up? Obviously, that seat next to Chaz in the Enduros. There's also a seat next to uh, his teammate, Nick Perkett. That looks really good. Um, Jaime at BJR, um, even, you know, kind of um, in the second car there at BJR with Bryce Fullwood. Um, that would possibly be a good option. Um, and, you know, both of those places, I, I would assume he'd be welcome back. Uh, a lot of people have been mentioning Dick Johnson Racing. But, uh, yeah, do, would he want to go back there? Um, Tickford, you know, really, I, I, I suppose he'd probably be shopping around right now. Um, I can't see Dick Johnson take him and uh, Triple Eight. Well, they, they've got enough talent, but um, I think he would be a welcome addition. Any Having said all of that, you know, bad stuff about him, I think as a Bathurst co-driver, he would be a welcome addition anywhere except for DJR and Triple Eight. So uh, down in the comments, let me know, would you have done things differently and who would you have signed? Um, and to sign off on this, uh, let's remember, Gary did beat Fabian in the championship last year and Fabian did have five, five whole years at Dick Johnson Racing. Um, and basically he got his ass handed to him by Scott McLaughlin in, um, well, every, every year that Scott McLaughlin was there. Uh, yeah, so he, he's definitely not the future. Um, he's on a retirement plan kind of thing. So take take that into consideration when um, you have a go at me for saying that, you know, Gary and Chris are probably a better choice for the team than Fabian is. So until next time, I'm still Dave and I'll catch you later.